Now here we've got two great guests with us, both talented actors and producers, and now they're teaming up on the new series Severance. Adam Scott stars in the show and Ben Stiller is executive producer and director. Good morning, guys. It's great to have you. Great to be yeah, here in person. Be. I know. We were just talking yeah. about that, getting the, getting the in-person interviews going again. So the show is very exciting. It's getting great reviews. You also tweeted, Adam, that you're not only excited about the show, but for people to see your new hairstyle. And there's a whole conversation That's right. That's about right. this. Who came up with the look? this guy right here. <laughs> well, I felt like we had to do something because Adam has just, his hair is unfair. <laughs> he has unfair <laughs> hair, right? Yeah. I mean, it's just too good. And I think sometimes it distracts you from the incredible actor that he is because you're just staring at his incredible hair. So I felt like we needed to give him a hairstyle that would sort of level the playing field in terms right. of us mere mortals. I started taking Propecia when I was seven. <laughs> <laughs> Just, just put in some, some chia seeds and just watch yeah, it grow. Right. I like that, though. Unfair hair. Yeah. I asked you unfair hair going to use right there. Right. And the show is about employees at a company called Lumen Industries who undergo severance, but it doesn't mean, you know, that they get, they've been laid off. So can no. you tell us, Ben, what severance means in this case? Yes. In our show, uh, there's a procedure called the severance procedure where they put a chip in your head. And when you go through, uh, in this case, you go into an elevator and it triggers the chip, you forget everything about your life on the outside. You go to work, you do your job all day. Then when you go back in the elevator, it triggers the chip again, and you forget everything that happened at work. <laughs> so it's, that's the title. It's like the ultimate work-life balance, exactly. which I think yeah. a lot of us could use a lesson in. How are you, Adam? Are you? Do you succeed? At, I don't succeed at work-life balance. Do no, you in the real world? I'm a disaster yeah. when it comes to work-life balance. I mean, I think it's hard for anyone with the, with the phone. Yeah. It's uh, 24 hours a day. So you just have to, like, set it on fire and put it into a drawer and, and, and you're okay. I also think now, you know, everybody's work life is all just intermelded and you yeah. know, interconnected mm -hmm. because of, is that a word? It is now. Yeah. Times. Uh, but, you know, it's all just happening all the time. We're doing everything, you know, hey, let's do this for a little bit on Zoom and then go back and take yeah. care of some family stuff. And so it's, it's, there is no real distinction. So you suffer from it too? Yeah. The, the, oh, the me? hard to split. Yeah. No, no, I've figured it out. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just ask my kids. I, I, I think after we watch this clip, we're going to tell our bosses here when we leave here, don't contact us. Here we are. <laughs> we're going to check out a clip. Let's go. It's Monday. A weekend just happened. Yeah. I don't even feel like I left. Yeah, that's how nights and weekends feel here. Like nothing. Well, you get used to it. I mean, I find it helps to focus on the effects of sleep since we don't actually get to experience it. You may feel rejuvenated or happy, less tense in the shoulders, spry. Ooh. All right, so perfect hair aside, you always had Adam in mind for this? Like, he was the guy? Yeah, I mean, I think, first of all, I'm a big fan of Adam's. He does uh, a lot of different things as an actor, and I think in this environment where it's sort of a workplace environment, which I think people might have been familiar seeing Adam in certain you know, different shows, different genres. This has a, an, another weird sort of side to it, and I thought it'd be really interesting for Adam to be existing in this world. And also, he's just, he can do comedy and drama, and, mm -hmm. um, and I just wanted to give him a weird hairstyle. <laughs> <laughs> and ha have you ever had a job that you wish you could forget? Adam, let's start with you. Uh, many. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, many. I, I think there might be some movies or TV shows that I would like to forget, but uh, I think that... You know, I, I did spend a, 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 a day at working at Johnny Rockets and didn't show up for my second day because I did not love it and was not very good at it. That was like a hamburger restaurant. That's right. They, they, yeah. they have to sing along with particular songs oh, yeah. that come on. Oh, yeah. would, Great onion mean, rings, though, I got to say. <laughs> really good. Really good. And I did about, not get to serve yeah. anyone. Yeah. How about you, Ben? Any jobs? I worked at a guacamole factory. Oh, no. perfect day for that. <laughs> I don't know. I, have, I would say... It's just timely. It's just crazy. Yeah, no, I um, I was a busboy for a while, and I was not a good busboy because I would come to people's tables, and I would be interested in their conversation, uh -huh. so I would take a long time to change out the ashtrays, cause I'd be, yeah. and I sort of got fired for doing that. Oh. i, I got to ask you, Ben, what's it like for you? I mean, we're so used to seeing you, you know, on screen, on camera, you know, in this, in this role as a producer, director, and the yeah. dynamic between the two of you. What is that like? I mean, it's really fun for me to... to just direct and produce and to not be in front of the camera uh, just because it's a different thing. It's kind of, uh, you know, to work with great actors. We have a great cast, you know, Adam, Chris Walken, 
John Turturro, Patricia Arquette, mm -hmm. Jamel Tillman, um, Brett Lauer. Brett Lauer. There's just amazing actors to work with. And as a director, it's kind of like you realize how weird and hard acting is. <laughs> it just is hard yeah. to do. And yeah. so I kind of enjoy the relief of not having to, you know, get in front of the camera. Well, you all make it look so easy. And, and what kind of director is Ben? Mm. Ben is a, Hang a, a second. Michael, you went to space, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What was that? Like? What did that have to do yeah. with anything? I just want to hear. Don't try no, 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 to answer no. the question. Is it sort of like what? now? Is now everything is just boring? Now everything is just like you're dead inside. You have to talk to Ben Stiller now, Scott. Is, that's right. You've been to the just most amazing place in the universe. You're going next time. Okay. I'm taking that. Cool, man. What, what kind saying? of director? I, I, I got to hear this now. You're Nothing to... can follow that. You went to space. <laughs> I mean, Jesus. All right, we got to go. You we got to go. You guys. We got to care go. what kind of director he is. <laughs> Space. <laughs> Space was fantastic, I cool, bet. but not as good as this show. Okay. Oh, all right. Right. All right. And everybody out there, the first two episodes of Severance are available now on Apple TV Plus. Make sure you check it out this weekend. Do yourself a favor. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.